Okay, this is attention debuilding part three. I love making series. I'm, I'm a director. I mean, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? You give me the foolishness, I turn it into a broadcast. You was broadcasting foolishness, and I'm correcting that TV. Uh, let me give you an example about a short story about what just took place. So, without speaking certain names or places or things or whatever, so I was just talking to somebody, a good friend of mine, and whoop de whoop, blah, 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 you know, not going to get into what, whatever, their lifestyle, whatever, but I told him, I said, um, I said, y'all right, man? He was like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I said, keep your eyes open, bro. Keep your eyes open. I see. Why you say that? Just, 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 just look out. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for the police. He was like, "Oh yeah, for sure." So I'm just looking out. I'm like, "Okay, bet that, bet that." So I walked off. Came back out the store. We got to talking or whatever. He asked me again. He said, "Why you say that, though, bro? Like, why you say that?" I said, "You know, I ain't no snitch or nothing like that, but." You know, I used to tell certain people at a certain gas station on Riceboro Road, you know what I'm saying? This, that, this, that, and the third. You know, and, you know, when I tell you this, then know that this, that, and the third. So they were like, okay. And some people didn't listen, they got caught. So I told them, I said, hey, bro. I said, 12 be up here in 20 minutes. I ain't calling either. So I leave. Go down the street, forgot to take the picture of when I just posted. Came, went round the corner, came back. On my way back, I go to the store, take the picture, leave. I leave, go down the street, and guess who I see? Not even le it, it's been less than twenty minutes, twelve, right there. Now I didn't want to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I guess time to say it. The, the gift, the prophetic gift, and the anointing on my life is not to be fooled with. Uh, I just told what it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was Friday. Saturday, yeah, Saturday. I left here and went to the church. Went to go sweep. You see the video. God is doing the sweep. So I went to go sweep or whatever. But while I was there, before I was doing, that, I was sitting in the car, and I was praying. Lord told me to go pray, so I prayed. And the Lord told me to use my book that I got online, Weapons of His Indignation. Let me show you how to fight part four, my supernatural guide to spiritual warfare. Uh, I was praying that then prophet, a prophet shows up that goes to the ministry. Uh, I call him apostle, but he's a general. And he shows up. We get to talking. I'm talking, telling him what's going on. Lord said, stop. So I stopped and I looked. He said, tell him he got a word. I couldn't even tell him. I just looked at him. He looked away. And the, heart, and the Lord breathed on him and started talking. He was like, I said, I didn't want to go there, Pokey and Key, but I got to go there because you ain't listening to me. So the, the guy, the, the prophet was like, he stopped for us. Y'all see how I do. I have to turn for the set, you know, turn my head and be looking around and, you know, the Lord be speaking. This prophet said, yeah, they got some, these two people that's bothering you, they got some connections, some ties into some stuff that they ain't got no business being tied into. And they think they got, they they, they got some stuff on them. They think don't nobody got on them. He said, he said, they, they, done, they, done, they done got some stuff on them from some stuff they think they done got away with. And I was like, and immediately, as soon as he said that, I heard in my spirit, I heard in my spirit, they got warrants. So I was like, I waited and let him talk, let him talk, let him talk. The Holy Spirit was speaking through him. God was speaking through him. I'm sitting there for a minute and I'm listening. So I get out the car and I'm getting ready to go help him sweep up the church and do the things I had to do. And then he say, then then I look at him. He say something that triggered the anointing and allowed me to speak a word or to confer to speak the confirmation of what he spoke. And I told him, and I said, I said I heard in my spirit they got warrants. He said, mm-hmm, that's what I was talking about. 
I said, wow. Now, this man don't know y'all. He don't know what building I stay in. He don't know nothing. I just told him there was two people bothering me, and the Lord told me to come pray. And the Lord gave me some instructions concerning them two and what to do, what to pray about, how to pray. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to be victorious, as I already am. Now, if y'all want to keep going, y'all want to keep putting ladybugs in my door, you want to keep putting cigarette butts in my door, it's just petty. Like, you obviously ain't got no life. You know what I'm saying? This what this how you get off. But I'm not going to start insulting you because you don't, I learned in warfare, you don't insult the enemy that make him angry. You just destroy him, kill him. But you know, killers don't get no sleep. 